Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to How You Doin'. I still haven't changed the name of that, by the way. We're at, I think we're at episode or part three of this series. I still haven't changed this stinking name. Maybe we're at part four. I don't even remember. Anyway, last episode we had a, we got a copy desk here. We got our research going. We're going to be copying grabbers like forever. And we're going to be copying the conveyor, this mixer one more time. And then we're going to have three. But if we end up getting like apple or apple pie or pumpkin pie i don't know what we're gonna do so we'll probably keep copying both of these things until we don't need to copy them anymore if that makes sense so uh yeah this is uh it's gonna be cool i may end up start going into just seeing what we get after today is i may i need another blueprint cabinet that's what i need a thousand percent right now blueprint cabinet to keep duping a lot of these things because right now we need Grabbers. Grabbers is the only thing we really need. I mean, the prep stations, yeah, we have a couple combiners, yeah, 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 but we need grabbers to get any sort of automation going or full automation going. But without further ado, let's uh, rock and roll. I moved the I moved the, the pot stack over here just because I felt it didn't really need to, to be there. Look at that. So this is going to make crusts. I mean, I could let them... Oh, oh my God, boom. There we go. That might not have been the best decision, honestly. What I'm doing here is basically just using the mixer to par bake crust, not to actually cook them. Because it's still slow to cook them. Because this is obviously still much faster cooking them like this. Do -do -do -do. Another meat, shmeat pie up. What do you want, my friend? Another shmeat pie up. Boom, boom. The crust will still make, like it's not not really a negative. I mean, it, it's helping because I can just do this, right? So I have a bunch of, they're not far baked yet. Again, when we get to that stage, yes. But we're not anywhere near that stage yet, so I'm not gonna try to rush that. Because um, you can see how slow they are. So it's still not the best thing to use. I'm gonna call in one more group because we have them here. And what do, you, what do these guys want? Two shroom pies, no problem. Do this, do a bit of shroom action, do doop. La da da, la da dee, la da da, la da dee, shroom pie up. Yeah, this is just going to be for crust for now. Once we start uh, getting into, you know, more advanced stuff, then we'll, then we'll do more uh, advanced. Yeah, I'm still, like I said, normally with these runs I have a set plan, but I don't have a set plan as far as how I want to do this run. So we're going to kind of play it by ear. Put the other grabber, oh, oh shoot, uh, crap, 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 uh, don't want that. Also don't want this, I want this to go here. There we go, all right, we're all good to go now. Good to go, guys. Yeah, I mean, the reason why I have the mixers like this is because I want to have mixers going, you know? All right, down here, sorry you guys got a bum plate. Sorry about that. Sorry about your luck. This is gonna go here, this is gonna go. So you can see how it's just how slow the, the heated mixer still is, but, we can have eventually like a, an automation chain set up here it's not going to matter it'll be perfectly fine all right before i take their order i don't want that to go completely like that this one can this is fine because it'll par bake and then it'll just sit there because if you remember heated mixers don't burn anymore so that's kind of a good thing it won't uh, won't be burning on us all right there's that research done and then we'll do a little bit of the other copying we'll copy both things of course and the part bit crust is fine. Eventually, we're gonna upgrade to all of, having all of it like that, and frozen prep stations, and you know, so buying the grabber might have been a little bit premature, but I think we will be fine. So what I can actually do is I can use this to cook the shmeat pie down, and we're gonna get a little broccolo going, and we should be good to go. Yep, see that one's done already. Boom. Oh, did I missed the broccolo on that one too. Oh, should be able to finish this in time. And there we go. Awesome. All right, cool. There we go. All right, so we have day 11, of course. So let's see what we get. I'm, uh, I'm not worried about what car we get. I mean, we get whatever car we get, we get, right? So, so uh, all right, let's rock and roll here. Portion. All right, so again, a lot of these staple items, which I don't get. So no blueprint cabinet. Now, here's the thing. Do we... Do we just buy this, right? Do we just buy this? And the answer is, I don't know how it'll be beneficial like at the moment. The other thing is, do we upgrade? I don't, I don't want to take these out. Do we upgrade these to become corner grabbers? 
which will definitely be helpful because then we can pull out of the same bag quite easily here. Um, I do want to buy another one of these. And I'm going to stick that. Uh, where do I want to stick that, though? I want to actually stick it here. Um, I guess I could still do that, right? Push these all back because that seems that seems a little bit uh, out of the way. Because what I want to do is as soon as one grabs here, I want to slap it on here so we have two crusts going at all times. And then I think this is still fine because I'm doing everything by order still, right? Until we have better upgrades. Now, the question is, do we need more of these? And the answer is, I don't know. Because ideally, what I want to do eventually is to have one heated mixer for each dish. So we need one for meat, one for veg, and one for uh, mushroom. But I don't know if we're ever going to get to that stage of having something like that. Even having like the meat ones automated, which, you know, we can't do it quite well. We could do it. That's the thing is if I buy this right now, if I buy this right now, we could have meat pies automated, which would be right here. Hmm. And the only thing I'd have to do is just be careful about grabbing them off to put down to this flower one. Hmm. That's an interesting, interesting thing that I'm thinking about now. Because if I buy a grabber, I could automate meat pies. <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Because I'd basically put a grabber right here. And then the meat pies would be automated. I'd always have a meat pie ready to go. Um, but the way I'd have to do it, though, it'd be very difficult because I'd have to... Well, it wouldn't be that difficult. I'd have to grab... <clears throat> excuse me guys I have a frog in my throat what I'd have to do here is I have to grab when it gets to the dough ball stage I'd have to grab it or any stage and put it on this one to make for the other cross and then I can I could think I could do that so I think what we'll do is is I'm gonna buy this one because if I don't buy one today we're losing out right so I'm gonna buy this one today I don't think I'm gonna ever need a plain conveyor but I can't pass up buying one honestly Portioner, we don't need a portioner for um, for pies at all. Counter, we don't need. So, yeah, what we'll do again is is we'll keep copying these. And then I'll, I'm going to upgrade this one because either we're going to get a corner grabber, which would be very helpful, mind you, or we'll get a smart grabber. Now, whichever one we get, we can always swap it out the next day. But what I'll end up doing is if we end up getting, I don't need a smart grabber, but again, it's one of those that I might as well buy it. That way we continue to buy. You want to buy a grabber? At least buy one grabber every single day. So locking this in here was probably not a good idea because we're never going to get rid of this one. We're going to keep copying this one until, well, we, we just don't anymore. So what I'm going to look for on here is probably going to be a blueprint cabinet or a research desk. Um, a research desk later, but a blueprint cabinet now. Okay, I think we're fine here because that combiner will, this will auto make meat pies. And then I can use this one secondary because once these run out, I can grab one from here and go like that. If it's a meat pie, I can just stick it somewhere on this counter or something. Oh, do I have a table? I don't have a table, do I? So actually, oh, speaking of counters, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap this counter, put this counter down here like that. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do because that way if I have a meat pie made and I need to put it somewhere, I can put it in any one of these two spots here. Okay, I think this is good to go. What's our talk? We just started the episode. Okay, we're at day 12. Remember, we get another card today. Now, as much as I want to get pumpkin pie, I don't know if I'm set up for <laughs> pumpkin pie. I'm also not set up for apple pie either. So, I don't know. I don't know here. We, we have a bit of a complicated setup at the moment. Day 12. So, uh, we have seven groups. Let's rock and roll. Let's see, let's see what happens. You know, let's see what happens. It's all good. Get a little bit of that in there. There we go. So, I just want to do that just to get one of them out of the way. All right, get this down to here, and then I want to go and just do my research. I'm interested to see which which one we get here. Because we're waiting on the blueprint desk, it doesn't matter. Uh, so that is a smart grabber. So we're going to copy him anyway. Actually, no, I think that is rotating grabber. I, hard to, I can't read what this says because it's a long second word. Rotating grabber, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter, does it? All right, so we have, oh, we have this already done. Okay, cool. So here we got... Um, Oh, the only, the only issue I have to wait for is I got to wait for the schmeats. That's the only thing. So what does this one want? Uh, it wants a shroom pie. So I'll get the shroom pie out first. Again, this is all like passive stuff, right? All right, we got here. We got a little bit of this action going here. We got a little bit of this. This is going to be done in a second. Here it comes. Our witch is coming in. I got to keep an eye on the blueprint desk. I don't want to forget that. 
and that cobwebs dun 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 and i'm gonna get these done again there's no rush because we're not focusing on using the desk we don't have to rush there's no rush here i will i do want to keep grabbing these off though if i can and then we want a little bit of shroom action here grab the shroom get a little brock i don't need another mixer yeah, I, don't, I don't know if doing what i'm doing is the best decision but it's the decision that i'm making i guess so i want to par break these so that way we can leave this filled with par oh, uh with par bake crust yeah that's exactly what i want to do here might seem a little bit odd to be doing it but that's what i want to do so that way we can take this one off take this one there we go now we got par bake crust because par bake crust cook significantly faster see how fast that cooks and we got another par bake crust here for a shroom pie rock and roll we don't need a meat for this person yet this action this action i need some plates plates would be helpful i don't have the upgraded sink yet either i don't even have the i still have the basic sink by the way what i could do is take that and swap that oh no i can't do it like that shoot uh, uh oh that's gonna be a problem there we go now we're okay now we're okay Ooh, see i don't want a conveyor though i, I don't need a conveyor that's the thing, right? I'd love to. I'd love to. Oh, I don't need a portion or either. Give me something good at the end of the day. Maybe we'll do some. Um, do some um, upgrading today, or do some re-rolling. Re is I guess is what I should have said. Some re-rolling. Yeah, the only thing here is like I'm stuck here with these. Yeah, so I think I have that done backwards. I should have this one automatically always going into this one. Yeah, I think that was my mistake here. Uh, not a mistake, just, you know, not the uh, smartest thing to do at the moment. Because now I have nothing stored up here. Yeah, okay, I think I know how I, whoop, I know how I, wanna, I know how I want to do it uh, after today. Again, depending on what card we get, that my, my, uh, my thoughts might change, but we'll see. I think I have an idea here. We got a Schmeet. Oh, I don't have a... See, if you don't put it on a plate, they won't take it. So you're kind of quite safe that way of sticking things that aren't plated. There you go. Yeah, this is kind of a bummer doing it like this. This is fine. I'm not going to stack that up. We're good to go. Yeah, what I need to do is I want to automate making a... I know what I want to do here. Alrighty. Moment of truth. Let's see what we get. Oh, okay. This customer sit individually. <clears throat> That's not a big deal. Now, again, some of these cards are a bit kind of wonky, but this should work fine. I don't want to do cheese boards. I wish we could... But all we're getting is trick cards. I'm going to do this one. Um, now I'm not sure if that's going to change the group sizes. No, so it's just, we should, should, excuse me, we should still only get seven people, according to how that makes sense to me. Uh, but I'm not going to change the way this is laid out, just in case. But I am going to change this. So what we got here is a smart grabber. Yeah, this is a smart grabber. So I'm going to buy it anyway because there's no point to not buy things. What did we get here? Did we get anything that was good? Nothing that's good at all, man. Okay, so the way I want to lay this out is I don't want to have, I want to have it here. I want to swap this. Is, I want to swap these. That's what I want to do. Because actually, you know what? Can I do, can I do a double here? I don't think I can do it doubly. So I'm going to do this. That way the crust will always be made and then I can put one on here and it'll combine with the meat. That's what I want. That's what I should have done in the beginning. There we go. I mean, I could automate. I could also automate the uh, mushroom pies, but I don't really want to do that now. Again, here I have two grabbers, but I they don't kind of work because they're not corner grabbers. But again, I don't want to miss out. Um, I guess if anything, I could have both of these automated if I go like this. Maybe that'll actually make sense, honestly, for the time being. Um, because this conveyor won't do anything because it's a push. Conveyors push; they don't pull. So having one of these in any of these spots doesn't do anything. I wonder if that would actually make more sense. That way you have two crusts made at all times. I think that's what we're going to do. And, and yeah, I think that's a better decision. Until we can get more solid automation going, I don't think I'll... Yeah, okay. Twisted my arm here. Where are the knobs there? So we'll move everything back down kind of how I had it, which I think this is, I think this is going to work out better for us. So here we have another heated mixer again. Um, I can't have a three-way split off of this with this setup, which is fine. I don't really need to have a three-way split off. Or, I mean, I could, but I'm going to buy one more of these. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think I'm going to buy one more, and then that's going to be it. 
I'm just gonna ditch the other one. And what, what else do we have though to, what else do we have to copy? We don't have anything else to copy though. That's the thing, right? So we have five blueprints on the ground. Is it worth re-rolling one time? Because I don't really need another mixer. You know what, We're, let's re-roll one time. You know, because I don't need another one, I'm just gonna take it out. We have three, I think that's gonna be plenty. So now we have two, we have six blueprints to re-roll on. We can re-roll probably two times. Combiner. So, uh, that's the thing, do I wanna buy the combiner? Dumbwaiter, that's how you get um, teleporters. We're not anywhere near teleporters yet. I think I'm gonna buy, like my idea here is to have these automated at some point, and I think we'll be able to do that. So I wanna buy this combiner to store it, and then do I re-roll on five blueprints? Am I feeling that lucky? I'm not really because we don't have that much money, but you know what, I could always skip a day of actually, but it's individual dining though, or it's individual. So again, we're gonna be trying this out because I don't exactly know how this works. They sit by themselves, that's what that should mean. Do I wanna re-roll one more time? Should we do it, guys? I think we're gonna do it. Let's do it one time, one time. Give me something good. Ooh, what is that? Oh, soaking sink. Okay, soaking sinks are good. I don't need a soaking sink. But I can upgrade a soaking sink because the way that soaking sinks work, it goes basin, dishwasher, soaking power. So I can upgrade to a power sink, um, which will be helpful. You know, I'm not gonna lie. It will, it will be helpful for us. Put it there, so upgrade this. This is gonna upgrade too, because smart grabbers will, oops, sorry. Smart grabbers will upgrade. And that'll upgrade to a corner grabber. And then we're just gonna keep copying corner grabbers because corner grabbers, you can use straight, you can use corner to the left, you can corner to the right or left or right, I guess you say. Because then here, we wouldn't have to have this like this. This could, well, I guess you would still have to have two here, but this could sit back here, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, I think uh, I think we're good to go here. All right, guys, let's, um, yeah, let's see what happens. Actually, you know what? I wouldn't do that. I would put this here. And I'd have a corner grabber here and a corner grabber there. Right, so I would be able to save. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna upgrade these. Um, this will upgrade to a power sink. We're gonna copy everything. And then, um, where are we at for days? Uh, oh, we gotta move this back. Now, I'm not sure what is gonna happen here. We should get, because of the cards that we have, excuse me, we have the cards, we should get individual seating. Kind of like individual dining. It doesn't reflect it on the expected groups. So we're gonna try this out together to see exactly, um, see what happens here. Cause I really have no idea what, what, what's gonna happen. I'm a little worried. But we'll be able to tell right away what's going to happen. Yep, there we go. Individual dining. But I wonder if it's only going to be seven people, though. That's a bit of a wonky thing. But we're going to get some corner grabbers here, which is going to be great. I can just showcase that off to you guys. I'm just going to do all my research now. There's no reason not to. We have to wait for the crust to... <clears throat> excuse me. Wait for the crust to make anyway. Do, 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 do. What do you want, my friend? A veg pie. Oh, i got to put the, uh, the broccolo out. There we go. And these also cook super, super quickly, by the way. He's done already when you par bake them like that. All right, let's just do the rather one here. I know I'm going to be... I just want to do the last copy. Yeah, it's a power sink. See, so yeah, that's how the cycles go. I already, I already kind of have them memorized, which uh, kind of makes sense, I guess. I'll play it enough, right? We got this. But it's so awesome that crusts don't burn. Because you could, you could, like, this is a very passive way. I mean, you're using two mixers, I get it. But still, it's a very passive way here. Doing these are going to be done any minute. Boom, 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 boom. And then we can just, you know, very passive in the background. We don't need a portioner, man. We don't need a portioner. I kind of want to do a little bit of ring ring in here. Because I think we're going to be, I want to do a couple ring rings. Now, again, how many customers did we have so far? I don't remember. Do you? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, there are individual dining. So that is, that is still holding true then. Well, we've had, I think we've had four so far, or three. Oh, I don't want the plate. I want this. Veg, veg, um. Yeah, this is, uh, this is going all right here, to be honest with you. Because we have always have crusts ready, to, ready made. So I think we actually only have seven groups then. So it really cuts things way down then. Um, which isn't a bad thing, but it's, it's a bad thing as far as money. Because we have nothing. I don't need another conveyor, though. I don't need another one. Like, I'm fucked. So all I'm going to do now is dupe. dupe um, I think I'm just going to roll through the day. Get a couple more coins out of this. There, we got 18 more coins. I think that was a good 
good enough decision in my opinion. It's all individual dining now. Pretty crazy. But we had seven, right? So it's individual dining without the individual dining, if that makes sense, I guess. I don't know. You got a veg pie up, two veg pies up. No broccoli today. What's up with that? Yeah, I like this. I like the par baking of the crust with the heated mixer, because we have two. So essentially, it's actually faster now than it is with the safety hub, because the safety hub is 0.75 speed, right? A heated mixer is a 0.4 speed. So two of them is 0.8 speed, if you want to look at that, where you get one every 0.8, um, or, well, something like that. I guess it's not exactly how you would do it, but uh, you get two every 0.4 seconds. With a, with a with the safety hub, you need two to get one every point three, whatever, whatever. So it's like, is this just as fast or faster? I don't know. Why do we? Oh, we got double plates. Ah, I'm getting dumb stuff again. So I think I'm gonna. Ah, do I buy a power sink? I think I'm gonna. Hmm. I don't really don't need it. I don't really don't need a sink though. But you know, I'll buy it. I'm gonna buy it just because. Just because. There we go. Yeah, because if we can actually set up some automation by making dough balls for us even better because it'll make the heated mixtures go even faster so this one's going to come out i'm not going to buy this i think we're going to maybe re-roll because we have six on the ground now we have our grab oh it's called grabber rotating not corner grabber but anyway watch how these work um i don't know if i can actually do it here uh let's see if i can do it if i can i might have all Ooh, can i have if i could have all three mixers going that would be pretty crazy i don't think i could, could do that let me um yeah, okay, so this is the way these would work, right? So off of here, I'd set it to turn this way. So then I can get, I can actually get back to automating the meat pies now. Okay, yeah, we're fine. The question is, can I get back to automating? Let me just, let me just, let me do a little brainstorm here. We're at the end of the, actually, you know what? I'm at the end of the episode. So what I'm gonna do is, if you're finished with the episode, you can, you can stop now. I'm gonna do a little brainstorming here about laying things out a certain way. And we can, you can stick around for that if you like. If not, I'll catch you in the next episode, but I'm going to redo some things here. I'm going to ignore having the frozen prep for a minute. I want to see how viable something like this is going to be because we have the articulating or the grab. I'm going to move these. Let's move this, this junk out of here because you have all these grabbers because basically a corner grabber replaces two grabbers because it does a cornering action instead of just a forward and then another like forward action. So if we set this up properly, you can actually walk between these two and they're, they're like this part is thinner but this part is just as fat on the end so if we have it set up like this just bear with me here for, i think eh, is this gonna work i don't know if this is gonna work i'm gonna have to actually do something like this let me, let me just let me just think here for a second guys how i can lay this out to where it makes do we have another flower bin that's what we would need another flower bin would be great so we actually have that uh oh yeah you, okay you wouldn't be able to do it like that then um i could i think i might have to go back to this way because if we have this bear with me guys bear with me here i'd have to do it like this this might work this might work this might work if i have the flower here i could have this oh we need two corner grabbers then let me just try to think oh no 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 i could do it like this like this and then this one will pull from here right oh follow me how we're doing it here i should turn both of these the same way though because that looks eh I'll turn them there we go let's brainstorm this is brainstorming time there we go and then what you do here is you'll put the meat here right and then we can do the shrooms here um this one actually would go here um and then the shrooms this would be turned and then the shrooms but then the problem is then i can't make the other crust yet i can't do it quite yet i don't have enough i don't have enough other materials to do it with that yet but what we can do is we can start brainstorming which we just did here yeah okay so we actually need we need another combiner so we'll take these away put these up here i think i'm gonna i think i'm going to do another roll because we actually have six blueprints laying here again and we don't need any of these. Yeah, I think we're gonna, we'll just do a do rook. So we basically will have meat pies auto made and we'll have the crust made in there. Let's put everything back the way it was here. Um, I do have to access this in the beginning of the game, which is not a big deal. Actually, I'll just do it. I'll do it in practice mode right now. Watch, you do it like this. You hit practice mode and you go over to here and you interact with this and you go like that. 
check that out. Is that not awesome or what? Like, give me a break. Give me a break. And it saves everything too. It saves your how it was set up. So we have we don't have a lot of money. But I want to do I uh, read 40 coins. I eh, I don't know here. I really would love another blueprint cap. I'm gonna do one rule. I think it's worth worth trying. Gamble. Uh okay. Well, oh, we got flower though. We have another flower bin. And how much do flower bins cost? Are they 60 though? They are 60. Yeah, that's the thing. Having another flower bin would actually I don't need this. I don't need this one turned on. I don't need these other ones turned on either. So a flower bin would be uh, helpful. Actually, we would be okay. Yeah, might be okay here. Anyway, guys, we're not going to mess with doing any more of this. We're going to end the episode here. What I'll do is I think I'll copy the coffee table. Because if I get into the realm of calling people to get more money in, because we have individual, basically we have individual dining now. If the flower was 20, I'd buy it, but it's 60. I don't need a portion. I don't need another mixer. Yeah, so... Uh, if you're, if you're, if you lasted this long, thank you. This, I had a little bit of brainstorming here. It's hard to automate all three of them, um, without having an elaborate setup. And I definitely don't have enough, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't have enough grabbers and stuff like that for that yet. We need another combiner for that. And we need, well, many, many, many more, many more, um, uh, grabbers, corner grabbers. We're going to use because corner grabbers, you can use corner grabbers for straight left or right turns. So it works out. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me and hanging on for this extended episode. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider leaving me a subscribe. It'd be much appreciated. I'm getting close to my next goal, uh, which either recording this video, my next goal is 5,000 subscribers. I'm, I'm a little ways off of that, but that's my next goal. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this content, this video, please leave a like and a comment. And I always enjoy interacting with my with my supporters, and I always I always return the comment in some fashion, either with a thumbs up, a heart, or a personalized comment back. So thank you guys so much for joining me, and I'll catch you next time. And how you doing? Take care now.